MonsterVerse that don't want to wait every five years for a MonsterVerse kaiju movie can tune in to watch Skull Island on Netflix. The Invincible style animation starts off with a fiery female human person making her way through a whole bunch of people while she's handcuffed and trying to get the hell off the boat. She sets it on fire and I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably died on that boat and we have no idea why. Skull Island made a completely different group aboard another boat led by Cap alongside his son Charlie, a quirky nerdy guy who just wants to go to college and be in debt. You'll just go in debt. I want to go in debt. Trust me, bro. No, you don't. I mean, I don't want to go in debt. I just, I just want to try the normal kid thing for a while. This guy actually reminds me a lot of Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. It's so funny because everyone who says they want to do the normal kid thing feel that way up until they become the normal kid and then they suddenly don't want to be normal anymore. The kid's like, I don't want to live your life, dad. <laughs> Reek, <laughs> gets to do whatever I want, but I'm on the boat all the time, no chick. Then we meet Mike and his father. All is going well and this has a total Camp Cretaceous vibe to it. This guy feels like Darius. This guy feels like Kenji. Darius, sorry, Charlie keeps telling his friend how he's bored of this life and he wants to meet a girl. Girl, and that's exactly what happens next. It's the girl who escaped from the other boat washed up on shore. Thank his lucky stars. The heavens have spoken, I guess. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. She almost drowns and he goes in to save her. Everyone pulls her up and it's clear she's not a normal person who knows about normal things that she should know about. Is that like a personal attack or something? Are you good or bad? Oh, don't worry. We're... We're good. It's exactly what the bad guys would say. Not the brightest bulb in the tanning bed. is that? It's coffee. <laughs> it's terrible. Have you ever had coffee before? No. Why is it hot? See what I mean? Something ain't right. Oh, that freaking guy. Somebody Annie, the girl, is very mistrusting of people. When a flare is spotted, Cap and his crew want to help out because it's what they're supposed to do. As they're aboard the boat, once upon a maritime, somebody else sneaks onto the boat. While that's happening, Charlie lets it slip that his father is actually looking for a creature. Annie does not seem very happy about this. I did! On a smaller boat! That got destroyed! <sighs> <sighs> okay, I need to go talk to my dad real quick. <sighs> These ninja looking dudes come upon the boat, Annie attacks them, and says that they're bad. But one of them says that they have no idea what they're dealing with. And while the other one is about to make an attack, something attacks him first. The hunter becomes the hunted. Turns out there's this big ass kraken thing, like something from out of the movie The Mist. Dad! Shadowing. It is clear that they are not alone out here. Did. Everyone fights for their lives while Annie breaks off a harpoon and jumps into the ocean with no fear whatsoever. Unfortunately for the boat, it gets tugged down into the ocean where Charlie's father almost drowns because he's straight up looking at the boat sinking instead of working to get the net off himself so he can go up and get air. Come back. I get it. Maybe there's something down there that's, that's catching his attention. But seriously, bro, how do you forget to freaking breathe? How do you forget that you need air and that you have something on you and that you need to breathe? You know what I'm saying? Like, is there no preservation present in these people? Oh, now you remember that you need to breathe. But oh, no, you're stuck because you're now panicking. How unfortunate. Lucky Annie is there right in time to cut the net and set you free. Annie had told Charlie to get to the island like he's supposed to know where the hell it is. And when he washes up, he sees Mike there, who's just completely destroyed distraught because he watched his father killed in front of him and you feel really bad for him but don't worry one second later he completely forgets and now is only interested in where they are the camera zooms out so we could see a big ass gorilla footprint and we know that belongs to Kong, obviously. Welcome to Skull Island. Shut the fuck up! The first episode is very whimsical, I guess. And then it got dark really fast. The characters are at least interesting, and the animation style doesn't make you want to pull your breasts out your shirt. Okay, then. I don't know why I keep saying shit like that. Everything that happens, you're left wondering what the hell is going on. There are so many mysteries that are coinciding with one another. And they've already raised the stakes to let you know that people straight up die. People that you might care about. Except for the main characters, because you know what? The main characters have plot armor, so of course they're not gonna die. But it's good of us to know that at least there's blood and at least people can die here and the kaiju and monsters cause it. Seriously, if they're gonna follow up Skull Island, they really need to come strong. Say what now? Skull Island was filled with gruesome deaths at the hands, the claws, and jaws of some impressive creatures that should not exist. And uh, I think it was done better in the 2005 King Kong movie. <laughs> I 
hate with a passion that stupid ass scream. Nevertheless, I think that the series is off to a good start and I'm definitely intrigued because I want to see how they're going to deal with being stranded on this island because now they have no boat and all these kids are like by themselves, i.e. Camp Cretaceous. Let's see what adventures await these plucky characters on Skull Island. I'm actually excited about this, sort of, somewhat, because at least we're getting some MonsterVerse content. The question is, is it canon to the movie universe? Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.